What's poppin'? Sean Don is back with another technical analysis. Here we have Percy being a, once again, another new online client with the throws programming and the throws technical coaching. If you guys are interested in that, hit me up. Let me know. We'll, we'll work together, help you guys reach your goals, just like myself and Percy are doing. I'm trying to trying to get him to throw far. So, just take a look. Also, let this be shown for everybody out there who says, how do I practice hammer without anything to use? All it takes is a little ingenuity. Here we have Percy throwing, I don't know what that is, a purse, bowling ball bag filled with something, filled with chain, it sounds like, wrapped in a blanket or a uh, towel. Mad respect. Mad respect for Percy. All right. So, uh, luckily he's got some equipment he just got in, so he can throw that from now on. But, all right, so Percy, I think he did three winds, what was it, and three turns. Totally fine. Three turns is good. I think it's a good place to start. I would say, uh, yeah. So, so me and Percy met at the Grand Valley Big Clinic, and uh, <clears throat> so I got to help coach him in person a little bit, making all this online coaching just a little bit easier. Um, so, Percy, first and foremost, um, only do two wines, all right, if you're throwing a hammer. If you're doing the, the, the weight, one wind is plenty. Uh, or a sling start, preferably, but we'll talk about that later on, once again, via email and text message. So, in the winds, your first wind is pretty good. You do a good job of relaxing, it looks like. Um, try to turn your shoulders back to the right more, open your shoulders up towards this fence over here, so that way you can connect with the ball earlier. And then, um, Try not to let the ball, also when you when you open up your shoulders more to the right, that also means you want to keep them over there. Your shoulders open up too much and your hands come across the midline of your body. So if you were to draw a straight line from the front of the circle to the back of the circle, you don't want your hands to really pass um, across in front of your body past the midline. Um, so at this point, your shoulders should be turned back, your hands should be going back over your head. But uh, since you're facing the back of the circle and you're just learning, it's no big deal. But um, you uh, you open up your shoulders too much and the ball passes too much to the left side of your body. All right. So once again, refer to a video of literally like any of the top throwers. As you can see, they all more or less face the right side if they're uh, right-handed. And they don't really let their hands um, pass the midline of their body in front of them. Um, so that's the biggest thing in changing in the winds outside of that. And you can see also because that happens, the low point in your wind shifts immediately from the start. So the low point for your ball is about 45 degrees past zero when the low point, at least in the wind, should be about 45 degrees before zero, zero being the back of the circle. Um, and then, uh, as you enter, that's going to affect a lot of things. Um, so with your low point being off towards 45, your high point is about back there at 235-ish. I can, I can do math. 225? 225. That sounds about right. Um, and then uh, 230. Yeah, so as you come through on the entry, that kind of comes downwards. And like I said, the low point is at 30 degrees or so past zero. Um but otherwise, I mean, like, for just learning how to do this stuff, I think these turns look decent. I think there's um, there's much to be improved. I think that's that's true for everybody, even myself. But uh, for for doing three turns like this, after you know, just kind of learning how to do this stuff, it's pretty good. Um, but uh, yeah, so so I'd say um, you've invested in a in a, in a weight. And a hammer, hopefully, and then and we need to get you a hammer glove, and maybe some tossing sauce. That way you can get your arms to relax, because uh, from the numbers you sent me, like you're a pretty strong guy. Um, so we got to teach you how to use your strength and use your legs, and um, 
the, the biggest thing is just relaxing these arms and then um, feeling that pendulum backwards, feeling that turn on this heel. And uh, you can see your arms are just tight. This right arm needs to straighten out, and you're using a towel. It's, it's not going to be perfect. But, uh, but yeah, the biggest thing is, um, yeah, just relaxing those arms. And then, like, this first turn, in terms of the turn itself, is pretty solid. Like, overall, that's a good turn. You just got to be able to do that two more times. But once the ball picks up speed on this first turn, you can see it kind of starts pulling on you a little bit, starts pulling you forward, and it makes it hard to really get back onto that heel. So you need to push backwards, back, back, back against the ball. And then, uh, all right, sorry for the total incontinuity here. Uh, I just had to pause the video for a second because the uh, cleaning ladies came in and were causing the ruckus. Uh, so, but back to what I was talking about, Percy. Um, you need to push backwards against the ball, lean back against the ball and like you see you get to your heel you turn that heel but then you need to stay on that heel so dorsiflex that left foot pull that toe up towards your shin so you can turn on your heel as you can see you almost immediately you get to the heel and you immediately shift to the toe so you never really get that direction backwards outside of that your right side comes the right leg comes a little bit wide and a little bit high um, try to keep that closer to your left calf and then once again same thing as the previous turn straighten out that right arm i know it's hard with this setup you got but uh We'll work on that. Um, and as you come down, same sort of thing. You, your heel comes down, and you got to push, 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 push back away from the ball. And this one is more on the side of the foot. It's better than the previous turn, but it's that second turn. You're just totally missing that heel and turn on that heel to really get forward after that and go towards the ball, towards the sector. But that being said, like dude, like I said, I think. Um, we're going to be able to make a lot of progress with this technique over the next six, eight, nine months, however long you said it was that uh, you have until your your tryouts for your team. So, so yeah, uh, overall, Percy, I think, uh, like I said, just cut out a wind, uh, turn your shoulders back towards that fence, and then... Um, yeah, we're just going to work on the turns, work on your hammer awareness, get you thrown far. So, like I said, we you got a lot of strength. We just got to teach you how to use it. Got to make you more efficient. More efficient positions means you're able to use that strength better. But like I said, that first turn was solid, though. If you turned every turn like that first turn, we'd be, we'd be doing well. So, all right, thanks for watching. Uh, everybody, if you guys want to work with me via the internet, go to SeanDonnelly.biz, check out my services page, sign up for some throws programming, throws coaching, uh, technique coaching, uh, lifting programming, everything. I do all that stuff. Just hit me up. Inst Instagram, email, doesn't matter. Just hit me up, let me know, and we'll get to work. So, all right, Percy, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. Sean Don, peace and out.